Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva and this is all about this girl Harley. She is a two years old dog Argentina and my son is joining us because he is so fussy. He doesn't want to sit or anything without me today. So I don't know how much time I have to film that video and he is going to join us. Anyway, I will, today I'm not going to talk about Harley as much. I will talk about my mom's uh, Doberman and my experience with uh, her. So as you follow me, then you know that I wanted to make uh, a whole series of training her because I really knew she's not very well trained. So I wanted to train her. But that didn't really happen and I would like to talk why <laughs> that didn't happen and uh, uh, yeah, I will share all my experience and also compare that Doberman to Harley. She's crying because she wants to go out. So my mom uh, offered, you know, text messages and stuff like that were always complaining. Harley, come here about the Doberman not listening to her when it needs to listen, right? So in high distractions or it's running away uh, to chase deers and bunnies. And in fact, this dog has excellent nose, okay? Like excellent nose. I was told that she will not see the deers, but she will smell them. She will just catch the scent and he will go, she will go after them. The same with bunnies, she just like knows where they are and just grows. So you can't even like prepare for them. My mom doesn't like long leashes, so she would rather the Doberman take off and chase the deers. Anyway, for that I got them e collar, but I will get to that later. Uh, another complaint was that she begs when they eat, she like literally put her head on their shoulders and uh, and want them to and it just wait for the food so I get there and I knew immediately like right away that I am not doing any training because it's absolutely pointless my mom and her husband will not follow my advices long term to be successful so I'm just gonna enjoy my vacation and go with the flow and that's basically what happened. Uh, I just made sure that the dog doesn't beg to me and that the dog doesn't beg to my kids. However, my daughter was eating, you know, piece of bread and Kira, the Doberman, just like ran to her and just like grabbed it from her hand and ate it. Another thing she was doing, she would uh, grab, you know, my slippers or shoes and just run away and they didn't want it to uh, give it back like at all like she would like us to chase her and that's what that's what they do and they're complaining about all those stuff but they do everything wrong that dog doesn't wear a collar in the house it wears just like a light uh, you know necklace you would even call it a necklace <clears throat> and uh, that doesn't do any favor to her because you can't discipline her, you can't keep the dog accountable for its action if there is like nothing you can do to stop it, right? So the first thing I would have to do is convince my mom to put the dog on a collar, on a flat collar even, and on the leash. And I knew that I'm not gonna to be successful with that. When it's coming to the, you know, stealing food and begging for food, they just overfeed that dog. She's 36 kilo, I don't know how many pounds, like 80 pounds maybe even. Like she should lose a little bit of weight. She may have a problem with her hips later on because she is a little bit of overweight. And I very quickly realized why, because they feed her all the time. You know, they eat dinner and then whatever they would eat goes to the dog's uh, bowl. I had a feeling that she was eating like three times a day, you know, in the, like the kibble plus uh, the dinner straps 
So that's quite a lot in my opinion and that contribute to the lack of uh, willingness to learn and to train, right? The dog is probably never hungry in her life. So why would she have any motivation to learn and work for food? Like zero, right? I tried something, you know, just for fun, mostly like for myself, to check myself, but I had not any expectation in my head that this is gonna help them long term. So I did like, you know, like work beside me, kind of thing for food but it's just for fun it wasn't anything to like, teach the dog really <clears throat> so for the running away and not listening okay oh so one more time like about the listening okay she doesn't listen to them at all unless she wants to if they want to bring her to like a garage because that's where she sits when they don't uh, uh, want her in the house she sits in the garage she has her own uh, space over there her own crate she goes there but she doesn't want to go there so they would grab like a piece of food and kind of try to lure her to go to the garage but if she doesn't want it to go she just won't go so you know they had to spend some time to like try to lure her to that garage and for me this is just like a mind-blowing because whatever Kira doesn't want to do she just won't do and there is zero uh, you know way of them uh, making her do it they have like no tools they have just voice and they spoil that dog with this food and that's how it is but she has amazing temperament she accepted me and my kids immediately she did not growl at us at all she was super super friendly uh, we actually become friends at the end and i think if i had this dog for like two weeks guys if i had that dog for two weeks i would fix everything <laughs> it would be a little bit of a shock for Kira because her whole life she can do whatever she wants to do but I would fix it it would be really really simple you just have to find a way to you know if the dog doesn't want to do something how to make the dog actually do it and uh, you need tools for that leashes collars and first of all you need your own kind of this is happening because my mom wouldn't even let her sit uh, when they were crossing the street because she said that Kira doesn't like to sit because it's dirty. That's ridiculous. They baby the dog and now they have those problems and they say, oh, we don't know how to train the dog. But even if I tell them how to train the dog, they would still didn't listen to me because they know better. My mom knows better. She gets angry very, very fast. And um, yeah she just she just wouldn't listen i i know it she wouldn't listen she wouldn't follow the rules and my advices but but it's amazing dog like really she's so friendly her paws were huge her paws were like a bear paws like harley has like a skinny leg like long leg and this dog had huge 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 paw like i don't know like it was oh, ridiculous and you know harley sometimes puts like the paw on you and it's just like so cute but she does it so gently like and kira would just like smash you with her paws and uh, demanding uh, pets and love and you know she would give you tons of kisses and stuff like that so that's cute but like the paws scratch me like crazy one morning I came downstairs and yeah she was so happy to see me and she scratched me so bad oh my god like those paws are brutal but what's funny about her they have those little fences everywhere and uh, they are like that that big fences okay and that's enough of a barrier for her not to cross it and not to go anywhere so that's like pretty amazing if you ask me it's really pretty amazing that it's it's good enough for her she's not gonna cross it she's not gonna jump over she's gonna respect the boundaries really really cool i have never seen anything like that but i did get my mom e collar and i spent some time with them uh, teaching them how to 
use it especially my mom because she's the one uh, working with the dog all the time i got them a sport dog because you know it can be very expensive and uh, this one was second-handed brand new in the box but um, yeah it wasn't dog or mini educator i was keeping my eye on those two brands but i know that sport dog is good as well it's my first time experience with this particular brand but i teach myself before i like gave it to them how to how to use it because it is a little bit different it's a uh, quite a powerful actually tool much more you, you know you have to be much careful with a sport dog that has only like one to seven levels on like three different uh levels of power come here Harley come here you're not going anywhere I know there's the other dog so the level of the mistake you can do with that particular color it's much slower than with my dog Tra, right because I have level from a 1 to 127 so you won't jump through the levels of intensity as fast as you would do with uh, equal like uh, uh, sport dog so I started, um, you know, at the lowest level, I checked it on my hand, everyone checked it on their hand, I explained it to them how to use it, and, you know, we've been practicing, I told them very clearly not to use it, I mean, not to let the dog off leash for like two, three weeks, and just, you know, work on this lowest, lowest of the levels, and, you know, just, just wait, okay? because it's easy to fuck it up so then i i left and my mom is you know texting me that kira was off leash of course right away and was eating uh, you know fishes of a horse or whatever and she used the collar on level two and it didn't work she didn't come then you know two days later she's texting me and telling me that she used the e-collar and the dog's afraid of her so that's weird right she was completely fine she was enjoying the training like what did go wrong and i dig in and learned that someone i don't know her partner or her used the collar on level three and keep in mind there is only seven levels so level three will be quite strong so again told them very clearly keep the dog on level one and really spend that time conditioning the dog okay because of course the dog's gonna be afraid of you if you just like fry the dog for no reason so now my mom is using that color only on the sound but to be honest like we all know that the dog is not gonna drop chasing on a sound right it's with that steam will have to be used and um, she wanted even to sell that collar for a second but after she discovered the sound she's actually happy with the sound so she's gonna keep it this is how it is guys when people who don't know anything about training are using tools my mom even mentioned oh it's good that germany banned the tool well yeah it's banned because people don't listen to directions equal art takes time right it's not easy fix it's not easy tools to use and uh, you know i only had like a limited time with them to teach them how to properly use it i had doubts of like buying this tool because i know my mom you know and after you know being there and seeing how they baby the dog i knew they may not follow the directions as they should but i was still hopeful they would because it's such an amazing tool and uh, i cannot imagine my life without e -collar. Your body close on the front of your body, yeah, yeah, you'll be the one The party stop when we come, no matter, yeah, yeah, shots gonna run Your body close on the front of your body, yeah, yeah, you'll be the one The party stop when we come, no matter, yeah, yeah, shots gonna run She talking the minutes on her phone, eh Couple numbers dial up to the tone Cologne, she with me for the fresh air